Hi, I'm Justin Prince, and today we're spending three minutes with Ward 4 Councilor Alan Halberstadt. So, Councilor Halberstadt, of course, you have been part of City Council for many years, and for the first time since 2003, the city has a new mayor, Andrew Dilkins. What are your thoughts on his ability of being the next mayor of Windsor? Well, it's, it's uh, certainly given him every opportunity. Uh, the jury's uh, still out on that. Uh, uh, he's going to have a very challenging job. There's five new councillors, <laughs> which is a huge turnover for Windsor City Council. And, you know, there's going to be five new people coming in with probably five agendas. So it'll be a bit like herding cats. So it'll be a, it'll be a, a challenge for him to, 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 uh, to do that. So uh, you're just going to have to wait and see. Chris Holtz was elected to City Council in what was a very close race in that ward as now you've been elected to the uh, as a school board trustee for the public board, the Greater Essex <coughs> District School Board. Lord, what are your thoughts on him and how do you think he'll perform on City Council, Chris Holt? I think Chris will do well. I've known him for many years. Uh, I was actually on the bicycling committee with Chris like mm. 10, 15 years ago after I first got on council myself. Uh, we have many uh, ideas, similar ideas. He's a uh, He's a, um, a planner, uh, he, he believes in neighborhoods, he believes in cycling and pedestrian access. Um, he believes in a lot of environmental issues, which I did. What do you think needs to be, ha needs to ha be done when there's a new term each year and there are new incumbents expected for council? I agree that council has to work together to some degree, but uh, uh, so, but that's why they have a strategic planning session at the, at the start of each term and they all get some input and then they, they put a plan together. Yeah. Okay. Having said that, I think it's very important uh, for councillors to have some independence too. Uh, I, I was always known for that and uh, asking probing questions and uh, some that are, weren't uh, that well accepted. But uh, I think councillors have to be accountable. Uh, as well as working as a team and, uh, and uh, vote uh, their conscience and not just uh, what somebody else tells them the, they want to vote for. What are your thoughts about those numbers and that decrease between the last election and this year's election? Well, for people that are, uh, are, uh, love democracy, it's very uh, disheartening uh, and I find it very disheartening. Uh, I would have thought there would be, because there was a, a, a mayor's race uh, involving a non-incumbents non um, and a lot of new councillors uh, or councillors going for positions, I would have thought it would have been a, a higher turnout instead of a lower turnout and uh, uh, it's very disheartening. I don't, I don't know what to say other than that. Uh, obviously you got to look for reasons and I think uh, one of the reasons is uh, the youth aren't being engaged, they're not voting. I'm Justin Prince, and we just spent three minutes with Ward 4 Councillor Alan Halberstadt.